Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Ragozin and Sozin. This game was played in Soviet Union in 1937, and this is actually a correspondence game. Ragozin had white pieces, and he started with c4, indicating that he wants to play English opening. e5. This looks like a Sicilian reverse, doesn't it? Knight to c3. Knight to f6. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4, bishop to b4, pinning the knight, absolute pin, bishop to g5, pinning the knight on f6, relative pin, h6, attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, and black, captured the knight on c3. If Sozin castle kingside, then white would play rook to c1. So we have bishop takes knight, damaging white's pawn structure. Pawn takes bishop, knight to e5, knight to b5, a6, queen to d4, attacking the knight on e5, d6, bishop takes a knight. And if queen takes, what happens then? The knight takes on c7 check, winning the rook. So black had to capture with pawn. Knight to a3, c5, attacking the queen. Queen to d2, queen to a5, attacking the knight on a3. Queen to b2 defending. Bishop to d7. e4. Bishop to c6 attacking the pawn on e4 and white played f3 defending the pawn. Rook to g8. Excellent move. Preventing the development of a light squared bishop if bishop moves to e2, rook takes pawn. So white played king to f2, f5, pawn takes pawn, and we have reached the most critical position of the game. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for black. Ready? Did you try to find the best move for black? What did you find? This is the move played in the game. Rook sacrifice. And there is a problem. If bishop takes on g2, then the knight to d3 is winning. Check winning the queen. So white had to capture with king. Bishop takes pawn on f3, check. King to g1. Black castled queen side. And see how black is putting to very good use the open g file. Knight to c2. Rook to g8, check. King to f2. Queen to d8, threatening queen to h4, check. h4, preventing the check. Bishop takes rook. And white resigned. One line goes like this. Rook to e1. Then, queen takes pawn on h4, check. King to e2. Knight takes on c4, attacking the queen. Let's say queen goes to c1. White is losing in all variations. Then we would have this continuation. Queen to g4, check. And after king to d3, check. King takes knight, and there is checkmate in one. Can you see it? 
bishop to d5 check mate what a beautiful game and what a beautiful sacrifice have you seen this move rook takes pawn on g2 brilliant and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now